the world's shortest slideshow on kinetic energy. Um, you know, it's kind of a frenetic thing, man. You know, so you gotta, you gotta, you can't waste a lot of time on this. This is kinetic energy. We're gonna go through. So, we're talking really fast. Here we go. All right, just kidding. Gather, um, gather my thoughts. Uh, kinetic energy. All right, the types of kinetic energy. The first is vibrational. Okay, this is the energy due to vibration. Uh, these are going to be fairly easy to remember. So vibrational energy might be like a molecule thing, you know, so you've got like uh, something's making up, oh, let's say like, you know, the, the metal in its watch, okay, you've got the, the molecules that are kind of going, not really moving around a whole lot, okay, um, just kind of vibrating. Yeah, one more time. All right, so the first type is vibrational, energy due to vibration. All right, second one is rotational. Huh, I wonder what this one does. Huh, yes, it's the energy due to rotation, um, spinning. Okay, so, uh, you know, spinning might, like, might look something like this. Or the other way. All right, so um, rotational kinetic energy might be a good example of, say, a bicycle or a car tire, okay, car wheel. Third one is translational. This one isn't quite as obvious. Um, this is actually the energy due to motion from one place to another. So I'm going from one place to another. Okay? This is translational kinetic energy. One place to another. All right, so the three types of kinetic energy, vibrational, rotational, translational. Say that one five times fast. Um, mainly what we're going to be doing is probably going to be mainly translational, okay? We're going to be doing the kinetic energy as an object moves from one place to the next. All right, um, yeah, like I said, it's right there, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, for this unit, we'll be concentrating on this form of energy. All right, kinetic energy, dependent on mass. Um, now, remember, mass is how much, sort of how dense you are, uh, as opposed to weight, which can um, fluctuate up and down. Mass is how much, has, is the density of you. And the speed, um, we will go into this a little more, little more later, but um, we are actually going to refer to speed as velocity of an object. So, kinetic energy is dependent on two things, the mass and the speed of an object. All right, so the formula for de determining kinetic energy is as follows. Kinetic energy equals one-half the mass times the velocity squared. All right, where m is the mass of the object and v is the velocity of the object. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, skid on out of here for a second. Let's go ahead and run some numbers. All right, back in a flash. Okay, finding the formula All right, the formula for finding kinetic energy. Now, the formula is kinetic energy equals one half the mass times the velocity squared. All right, let's just go ahead and run some numbers here. So uh, just randomly pick, let's go mass. My mass equals 10. And that can be anything, that can be kilograms, whatever. Uh, my velocity equals five. And again, kilometers per hour, whatever, whatever unit of measure you choose, doesn't really matter. So I'm plugging it in. So kinetic energy equals one half the mass, which in this case is 10. times the velocity squared. In this case, my velocity is 5. So this would be 5 squared. So kinetic energy equals 1 half of 10. And 1 half of 10 is 5. And then 5 squared is 25. So kinetic energy equals 125. And kinetic energy is measured in newtons. So 100 connect, 125 newtons per whatever kilometers per hour, etc. Um, all right, so let's try it. Let's try another one. So I've got my mass equals 20, and then my velocity equals two. 
All right, so um, plugging into the formula here, we know that kinetic energy equals one half of the mass. So my mass is 20. So that is going to be one half of 20 is 10. And then we've got the velocity squared. My velocity is 2, so I'm going to go ahead and square 2. Velocity squared, 2 times 2 is 4. My kinetic energy equals 10 times 4 is 40 newtons. All right, let's go ahead and toss a, uh, a um, number down here. Uh, let's go for our third one. My mass equals 50, mm, let's just go kilograms. Okay. Then my velocity equals 5 kilometers per second. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. So I've got back into the formula, kinetic energy equals one half times 50 times velocity squared, so 5 squared. Kinetic energy equals 1 half of 50 is 25. 5 squared is 25. So multiplying 25 times 25, whoa, that is going to be a huge number. Um, all right, so your assignment is to come find me in class. And let's figure out what the heck 25 times uh, 25 is. I'll tell you, that is, uh, that's picking them up and laying them down, people. All right, so um, your assignment is you need to find out what this is. And also, just for fun, why don't you tell me what the correct unit would be as well? Okay, so here is hoping that you liked our little demonstration on kinetic energy. Like I said, the world's uh, one of the world's shortest slideshows. I uh, hope you dug it, and uh, I'm out. We'll see you next time.